What is up, two, motherfuckers? One, I'm back um, from my brief That's stint six, in Croatia. Eight, um, so, I believe, is Joe. Um, turn right three, obviously, he wasn't in Croatia. Um, 60. Now, crest. Caution, turn right one. you'll have to forgive me because obviously I'm going to be well out of practice. Right and given where crest. my practice level was previously, that's not really uh, boding right well one, for this particular right. episode, but whatever. Um, I'm really pleased to be back. It's crest. good to take a break. I mean, not necessarily from this, I've not been right doing it that long, but. Go. Ow. Um, more a case of, you know. Uh, taking a break from my day job and then finding the time and energy to Careful, produce on, some new content. Immediate turn square left uh -oh. the there we go. <coughs> Got around it in the end. Thank you for all having faith in me. Um, so the question is then, what? I'm just coming to a standstill in these corners. I need to get used to the using the power to drift around, but I just don't have the confidence. Turn hairpin left uh -oh. cut. Oh, uh, where's the hairpin? Here. Okay. 60 crest. It's strange how you have to sort of right, use the right, power to come. supplement your turning of the wheel or else Watch the thing doesn't down. go anywhere. Well, there we go. Uh, through, coming to the end of the first section, only one minor accident so far. Um, where was I? So, uh, I'm hoping to get some more Adventures in Bastardry done. That hurt. I locked the brakes on the way in, it just 80. went straight. Um, Turn left three, 80 past yeah, where was I? Uh, I? I was really hoping to get some Adventures in Bastardry done Friday, which is tomorrow. Um, that, of course, is pending on the other guys, really. Um, aside from that, there's there's been a new Rimworld update. Um, I think I mentioned it prior to me taking a break. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god! Water temper's higher. I can tell the water temperature's higher. Into right five, um, don't cut. Which, um, I, I, I'm still committed to showing you Rimworld properly. Um, so maybe I'll get that installed. This is tragic. This is just tragic. <laughs> um, and then, you know, continuing my playthrough of Rimworld, but um, solidly. So, running sequentially rather than doing two episodes, installing a new update, and then fucking the old thing off. <laughs> this is incredible. It's good to be back. Um, I did some other stuff prior to my break. Um, I did a quick look at uh, Race Team Manager, which is terrible. Um, and I'm still trying to get that uploaded for you. I need to Press, invest in some... Oh my god, what is going on? We're losing cooling. Um, I need to invest in some Press. conversion software for that. Um, simply because I had to use Fraps to, um, to record that game because the native capturing on my card... 100 doesn't register it as a game, which, you know, is a lot like me. I don't really register it as a game either, so I'm sympathetic. Um, there was also a... I did a look at Dwarf Fortress, and I know we've spoken about this before. Um, it's, it's proving quite difficult to... Lost the front right. 80. It's proving quite difficult to drive, um, but it's also proving quite difficult to um, present that in a way that kind of makes sense to, to a viewer who hasn't played it before. So what I've decided to do with that is just sort of put that on the back burner a little bit. <clears throat> and you know, this is very much an iterative learning process, I've never really done YouTube before and um, finding stuff that runs stably that I can present reasonably well is it's a learning process and at the end of the day yeah, it can be annoying that we've got all these stop start projects and stuff but in the long term i think you'll end up with something that i hope will be more enjoyable uh city skylines is going to carry on as normal um i'll probably do one of those today i have tried 
and so far failed to install Windows 7 on my... Uh, Windows 7? What the hell am I talking about? I tried to install Grand Prix World on my Windows 10 machine uh, because the, there is a Windows 7 patch. The internet does a very good job of hiding it. Um, but it is a thing. Um, I'm still struggling to find it, but I know it's there because that's how I got the previous videos to work on my old machine. Um, the problem I'm having at the moment is that the game will not even install. Um, the disk in the drive, it registers that it's uh, a legitimate copy of the game, uh, it opens the launcher, um, I click install game, and nothing happens. So, I'm not entirely sure how to get around that. I'm hoping someone in the community figures it out, because it's a game that still garners a lot of affection, people are still playing it. But if that doesn't happen, then I'll, I'm going to have to figure out a solution to, to get that back going on the old machine, because I just love that game so desperately, and I think that's got the potential to be the, the better of the playthroughs I'm running at the moment. Oh, uh, what else? Um... Oh, that was it. Um, oh, look at the state of that. See, this is what happens when I move away from my slow-to-be-fast um, strategy, if you can call it a strategy. We're running 7th behind a Polish guy called Robert and in front of uh, Fernando Alonso's less successful brother. Um, we're going to do another round. We'll make this a double bill. Why the hell not? Um, and this time I'll try and be slow to be fast again and see if I can get around semi cleanly. It's the same track in reverse in the rain, I think. Um, it, oh, not in the rain, but I was right about the other part. So um, maybe this time I can make it through without totaling my car. Uh, Mr. Fukushima is going to have some work to do, that's for sure. Yeah, let's do some repair. What are your recommendations, Mr. Fukushima? Oh, all on the radiator. Fine, you're the... You're the Japanese guy. So, slow to be fast. Slow to be fast. I still love this car, I just can't drive it. Um, so, yeah, back on back on topic a bit. Um, I've said this a few times, and I, I, I really I really do mean it. I don't want you to think that uh, Grand Prix World has stopped. It, it really hasn't. It's just it's such a pain to, uh, to run reliably that I've been reluctant to dive into it after I spent, you know, seven hours on an episode that I was never able to use. Um, it's a very time-consuming thing to um, to record because there is no reliable time compression function. So you know when I'm doing an hour qualifying session, it is uh, it's not quite an hour. I think the game has like an, a native level of compression, but it's essentially an hour um, for recording the qualifying session, and then the race can go beyond that, and the majority of the time. There's not necessarily a great deal happening, so I, you know, I'd try and fill it by discussing, uh, by discussing strategy with you guys or um, the nuance of the game, which I think is something definitely worth worth sharing. Um, but it does not detract from the fact that it's a lot of time to invest. So obviously, can't stop locking those brakes. It, it's. It's very demoralizing when you know you, you do six or seven takes on a, a video and every time you get to about the last lap of the race and the thing crashes. Um, it was it was extra annoying actually because um, the the stuff I had prepared that went wrong. I was performing way above my expectations and I was genuinely proud of, uh, of that. Um, and then you know I suppose it's it's very much akin to having your save deleted. Hello? Missing textures. Oh, now I'm getting uh, now I'm getting back into the groove of it a little bit. 
I'm not going to get cocky because, you know, we all know where that ends and usually it's in some rocks. I started seeing these missing textures after I installed new drivers on my graphics card like six, seven weeks ago. And I was very, very pleased that the video so far had not been affected. Like, it's a very occasional glitch. And I'd been getting it in hill climb and things like that, but I hadn't seen it at any point when I was actually recording. So, really pleased um, that that didn't come up until now, but now it has come up, I'm going to have to find a, some sort of solution because it doesn't look very good. Um, look at that! Masterful! Masterful! Right six long, don't cut, ditch inside, so, 80 past junction. In summation, um, hopefully tomorrow I will record right some right Adventures in Bastardry with Joe and Grant. 80. It's Turn it's a big right one to, right to edit. Uh, I can't guarantee it's going to go out this weekend. If we did record it, it'd probably be sometime next right weekend, but that's a thing that's going to be happening. Um, I'm going to record some City Skylines today. Uh, hopefully that will go up tonight. My second part of my Star Citizen look is going to be recorded this week as well because the social module is out. Um, Immediate turn happen right don't cut 100. And then obviously uh, Rimworld for real um, with the animal husbandry update, which I'm actually, I'm pathetically excited to use because I think that will be a super cool feature. Um, and to be honest, it adds quite a lot of stuff um, that I'm keen to explore and I think exploring that for the first time during a playthrough is much better than uh, discovering it beforehand and then trying to find a way to uh, relay that information in an interesting way. So hopefully all that sounds good for you. Uh, I'm not sure when me and Simon will be recording again. I've been doing some testing and, and setup work for Monaco, and it's not going well. I'm spoilers, um, but I'm sure with all the F1 news that's going on at the moment as well, we'll be able to put together something particularly interesting and smashy. Speaking of smashy, smashy, 